you know, I keep telling them in life, you know, you're going to get hit and things aren't going to go smoothly. you got to keep going. And I'm old-fashioned, I'm corny, but I believe people that play athletics, uh, that enjoy the, uh, the victories, but also handle the losses and bounce back and keep coming and keep coming and keep coming, I think that prepares you for life. And that doesn't mean that somebody else that doesn't believe in that, it doesn't mean they're wrong, but I strongly believe that. And I talked to him about it after the game the other night. There's a lot of things in life. You just don't feel like it's fair. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. But you can't just go belly up. And uh, I talked to him about that. And so if I talk to them about that, i got to do the same thing. I mean, there's no question that uh, uh, the lows in coaching are so much lower than the highs are high. I mean, it's unbelievable. And some of you guys have heard Coach Smith told me his only worry about me was just how I handled the losses as an assistant because he said it's a lot more difficult as a head coach. And he was, he was right again. Uh, but it doesn't do any good to uh, make excuses. It doesn't do any good to give reasons. And there's a difference between excuses and reasons. Uh, what you have to do is at uh, 3 o'clock today, I'm going to go back out on the court and I'm going to try to coach to the best of my ability. And there would never be a day uh, that I would cheat those kids and so that's the way you got to live your life you just got to keep going and keep going and uh, practice you got to get enthused about it uh, uh, you got to go out there and think you can get better uh, we got home I got in the car uh, Wednesday night uh, 2.58 and went home and stayed up watching the tape till 6 and uh, went to bed and slept great till 8.10 so I thought it was a hell of a night you know that kind of thing and uh, uh, tonight I'll watch a lot of tape. I'll watch the highlights of the golf tournament, and that's be about it. I haven't watched, uh, I don't even think I've turned the TV on all week. And I've been watching tape and those kind of things. So to me, it's just, uh, I hope it'll always be uncharted waters. And I hope I don't go through this or we go through it. It's not just me, uh, but just try to do the best you can and go back out there. And I still remember Dion Thompson when, we had all the problems, lost everybody in 2010, and then Tyler got hurt, and then Ed got hurt, and all this kind of stuff. And uh, I asked my staff if they wanted to go to the NIT, and they said no, 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 and no. And I asked my wife, and she said no. And so I called the AD and said, we're going. And uh, it's uh, my vote counting more than they did. And I'll never forget Dion Thompson saying it, regardless of how bad things were that I kept coming out there and trying to make them believe that we can get better and working at it. And it was, it meant just as much to me the last day at practice as it did to, uh, the first. And I don't think that's the reason he put the tattoo of me on his leg or anything, but uh, <laughs> I told him he didn't have to go that far. But uh, I told him he was a little silly at that. But uh, so I, it's, you know, you gotta just try to do the best you can do. Uh, Coach Smith used to say there's millions or millions of people in some foreign country that don't even know we played. And I'm, I am mad at Coach Smith right now, to be honest with you. He, he had this statement he told us two or three times, and I always disagreed with him. He said, around here we should have a really bad year, about every seven or eight years, and make people appreciate what we do the rest. <laughs> I, told him I, I told him I disagreed. I didn't want to go through that crap. And, uh, uh, crap is the best word I can give it right now. So it's uh, I, one of the few times I disagree with Coach Smith, but uh, I violently disagree with this. <laughs>